Hey y'all. Stay hydrated. Um, this is XOMO. And how are y'all doing today? Um, it's it's good to hear how you're doing. I'm doing fabulous, as per usual. Um, and I got some sushi today. Girl, I didn't already finished up the appetizer because the bitch was hungry. I got jalapeno poppers. And I got three sushi rolls from Sushi Taiwa. Shout out to the girls I've ever been to Sushi Taiwa with. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, I just needed to come through and give the, the girls like a quick, quick update on but everything that's going on. So I'm currently in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. I've moved back here. I moved back here with my family as a transitioning place in between um, Boston and Atlanta. Currently living with my parents, like in the living room on an air mattress. It's not it, wouldn't recommend. Uh, I'm too old to not have my own space. I'm 26 and it's just, it's just hard to do with all I'm saying. Um, but like I do love being with my family. That's great and lovely. So I think this, the salmon fashion roll, put a little bit of eel sauce. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, girl. But anyway, I was currently living with my parents and our dog Akila. We love her. She's a really sweet time. But yeah, I don't know. Like right now, today, I'm just feeling kind of like in limbo. You know what I mean? It's weird, like not having. I don't know. It kind of feels like I don't have a place to like solidify myself. Do the thing. But. The apartment complex me and my homegirl were supposed to be living into, part of it burned down. So we won't be living there no more, girl. Um, so yeah, so we got to find a new spot to live. But like, I didn't cut hours at the job. I didn't lost hours. I am doing two creative projects where it's going to be a little bit of cash, but you know, it's not no consistent money. And the girls, they're not accepting unemployment as a, pay, as a form of um, income, so... I don't know. I do have a new job in sales, which like I'm interested to learn more about. Um, like, cause the other day they said that we had to do 200 calls a week. It's like 200. I'm like, I don't even like that number. <laughs> a week. And it's like, that would be fine if it was like salaried or like hourly but it's 100% commission based. So you don't make no sales, you don't make no money. I'm like, oh girl, well, I don't know. The thing is, the good thing about it, like if I can sell like one good contract a month, it'd be really nice. Because contracts are between like $1,500 and $15,000. And that's like, okay girl. And like I get 20% of that. Well, the smallest one is like 300, but the biggest is like 3,000. Anyway, that would be all my utilities. Like, all of them. Um, but yeah. I'm sorry, this is just really good. I think this other one is the Spring Mountain. It's got avocado on top. Cucumber and trim tempura. Oh, girl, I didn't even... I'm not even working these sauces right. Cause I have this little white sauce. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go into the salmon fashion grill. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but I'm really feeling like I just need like, I don't know, I don't feel connected to anybody here. Maybe not connected, because like my family's here. There's definitely people I'm connected with. I wasn't the phrase I wanted to say. There are people I'm connected with. I don't feel connected to the location. There we go. Um so yeah. I don't feel like there's anything to like anchor me here. I don't know, it's like a, 
It's a resting period. Oh my, it's a transition. It's the year 2020. And 2020 is fucked up. Like, you gotta radically accept that shit at some point. You know what I mean? If you don't accept it, move the fuck on and do what you can. Chaos. Girl, do yourself a favor. Find you, get into some radical acceptance. And move on about your day. Um... So but yeah, um, I don't have much makeup on, but I do have a BB cream on. And you have a little BB cream with like 30 SPF, you know, real basic. You need your SPF in Las Vegas. If you live there, please wear it. Please, girl. I'm begging you. <laughs> mm. oh. You know, I like, I do not like, like, mukbang videos. This is my unpopular opinion. I do not like mukbang videos because I always see, I don't know, I can't watch them without thinking about. And this is a certain type of mukbang too. This is a type of mukbang where they get, like, exorbitant amounts of food and then they don't eat it all. And, like, when I see that, I was like, one, think of waste. We don't like waste. We don't like that. That's bad. No waste. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there are motherfucking people going hungry out here. And you just up here, like, wasting food, food for the sake of use. Mm -mm. Unacceptable to me. For me, for my money. Uh, but maybe that's not the purpose of a mug thing video. Hopefully, like, I'm praying <laughs> that it's just, you know, to have a cute meal and a cute little chit chat. Cause this I could do, this I love this. It's like a little lunch day, you know what I mean? I wanna go to lunch, girl. Let me get into this other row. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get back to y'all on the, um, oh my gosh. This dynamite girl, dynamite. I don't think it's cooked enough for me though. I might actually take this home and sear it some more. Mm-hmm. That's definitely what you need. Just a little bit of brown and crunch off top because right now it's too white. It's too milky. Mm -hmm. This one, I think it's a big California roll, but on top of it, it appears to be like a cream cheese sauce, scallops, and some sort of cheese. This might have been too much, though. It's tasty as is, but I still like, until the, like, the cream cheese starts to brown a little bit, it doesn't give me that ooh ah ah. Mm. What else? My moving process was like, it was crazy. Cause I didn't, I couldn't get in touch with the movers for like two weeks, a week and a half type shit. And I finally got in touch. They told me they had a power outage. I was like, girl, y'all supposed to be here in two days. And I need to tell you that like, I need to hold the storage for longer because the apartment place burnt down. Um, and yeah, they needed to organize the time to get here. I think they were supposed to come on what? I think they were supposed to come like a, a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. They were supposed to come on a Wednesday in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Girl, they did not get there between 9 p.m. So in between what? What was it like? Three? In between 3 p.m. when I could get in touch with them, at 9 p.m., I was kind of like running around, stressed as fuck. And that was supposed to be the last evening that like, Clay and I were spending together. Um, I was wondering, Clay was my boyfriend. We were now separated. I don't know. Like, we're not together, but it's like, we still have love and affection for each other, you know what I mean? But it's like, 
I, I had always known for me that like long distance relationships, at least at this stage in my life, it's not it. It's not, it's not likely. So we move like with the understanding of that. Yeah. The distance and the long distance. The long distance itself would be the cause of us like not being a unit any longer. But we still have love for each other. You know, we're gonna be friends and chit chat and whatnot. So yeah, to be honest, that's been the hardest thing. <laughs> to be honest, that's been the hardest thing. I miss affection. So I was gonna say that I miss sex, which I definitely do miss. I mean, or just like having sex on demand. Okay, with somebody you vibe with and somebody you know how to work. You know? We ain't gotta find it, figure it out. Okay, I'm actually pretty cool. Just come to some ginger here. Give me now, mom, some ginger. Sex and the man knows that, but affection. I think affection is the thing that I've, I've realized, like this week specifically, that's what I missed. Because I used to think it was the sex. Because we still talk in chip chat every now and then. Like the companionship, and then it's the affection. It's the affection for me. <laughs> oh. How much do y'all like ginger? Do y'all like ginger this much? Because I do. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Other than that, I've been like chilling at the house, honestly. I just made it past the point where it's been like two weeks since I moved here. So I'm a little more willing to go out and like visit people and whatnot. Um, but yeah. I guess that's all I needed to update y'all on. Is there really anything else? I need to get back to the Avatar video. I'll get into it, I promise. I'm still working on the uh, the research for the firebenders. That's who's coming next. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Mm. Delicious. But yeah, the move just like threw a whole wrench in the middle of that. So there's that. I don't need to do go home and work out or something. Also, like, sitting in the Las Vegas sun, in my opinion, is a workout in and of itself. Uh. All right, well, <laughs> that's it. I think that's all I gotta talk about today. Um,. Put me in the comments what y'all are going through. I know a lot of my friends are moving and stuff, and if you're moving and if any anything in this video resonates with you, please tell me in the comments, because I love to chit-chat about y'all down there. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. XOMO. Whoosh.